Good morning, children. Good morning. Children, today we will revise Chapter Five, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Poem One, The Coming of Spring. The first question is fill in the blanks. Children, I will give you some options. You have to select the correct option to fill the correct answer. Are the options are beanstalk, hustle bustle, firewood, handful, n, the, she, her. The first question is Monica had a dash of cherries to eat. Nikki, please give its answer. Monica had a handful of cherries to eat. Good job. The second one is I love the dash of parks in the morning. Ma'am, may I give an answer? Yes, Dicky, you can. I love the hustle bustle of parks in the morning. The next one is for you, Tom. Garima says that Dash likes dancing. Mm, Garima says that she likes dancing. Good job, Tom. Next one is for Hugh Tack. Today is Anita's birthday. I gifted Dash a dress. Uh, I think the option her should be suitable for her. Today is Anita's birthday. I gifted her a dress. Good job, Tack. Next one is for you, Bini. Is someone at Dash door? Ma'am, the correct option will be the in the sentence will be if someone at the door. Is it correct, ma'am? Yes, it's correct. The next one is for you, Nikki. I would like dash egg and a banana for breakfast. I will use the option N, an egg. I would like an egg and a banana for breakfast. The next question is for you, Nikki. And the question is... Dash needs support to grow. Uh, beanstalk. Yes. I remember the correct answer is beanstalk. Ma'am, beanstalk needs support to grow. Good job. Now we have just one option, firewood. And the sentence is, villagers use firewood to cook food. Good job, children. Uh, the second one is true and false. And the first question is, Jack and his mother were rich. Nikki. Ma'am, it's false. Jack and his mother were poor. Good job. The second one is they had a cow named Daisy. Ma'am, it's true. Correct. The next one is Jack exchanged his cow for a handful of rice. Tom. Ma'am, it's false. Jack exchanged his cow for a handful of cherries. So it is false statement. Good job. Now it's for you, Bini. Jack's mother cooked the beans for dinner. Ma'am, it's false. Children, the next one is singular and plural nouns. As you know, that the noun standing for one person, place, animal or thing is called singular noun. Like flower, chair, watch, key, etc. And the noun standing for many persons, places, animals or things is called plural nouns. nouns. For example, flowers, chairs, watches. Children, good job. Now I will say a sentence. There will be two options. You have to select the correct noun, either singular or plural, for making it meaningful sentence. The first one is children should not play with knife or knives. Knives. The next one is I like eating tomato or tomatoes. Tomatoes. The third one is cut the mangoes in half or halves. Halves. The next one is the gardener will trim that rose bush or bushes tomorrow. Ma'am, bushes. The last one is I am wearing a new watch or watches. Ma'am, watch. I am wearing a new watch. The next one is give reason for. The first question is why did Jack and his mother have to sell their cow? Ma'am, may I give its answer? Yes, Nikki, you can. Jack and his mother have to sell their cow because they had no money to buy food. Good job, Nikki. The next one is for you, Tom. Why did Jack and his mother sleep hungry after selling the cow? Oh, uh, Jack and his mother slept hungry after selling the cow because there was no food to eat that night. Yes, very good. 
The next one is for you, Binny. What surprised Jack the next morning? Jack woke up next morning. He saw that the giant beanstalk seemed to reach the sky. That was the surprise for Jack. Good job, children. Now we will do revision of poem one, the coming of spring. The first question is choose the correct options to answer the following questions. For that, I'll give you four options. You have to select the correct option to give the answer. The question number one is, what is the feeling in the world on the arrival of the spring season? Option A, a feeling of sadness. Option B, a feeling of anger. Option C, a feeling of happiness. Option D, a feeling of fear. Then option C is the correct answer, a feeling of happiness. Good job, Nikki. The next one is, which flowers has the poet mentioned in the poem? Sunflowers and pansies. The second one is marigold and roses. The third one is lilies and lotuses. Fourth one is roses, lilies and daffodils. Ma'am, the fourth option is correct. Roses, lilies and daffodils. Good job. You are too fast. Tom and Nikki. The next one is, how does the garden look during the spring season? Option A, pretty. Option B, dirty. Option C, unclean. Option D, terrible. And option A is correct. The garden looked pretty during the spring season. Well done, Tiki. The next one is, what does the poet mean by the phrase, the sun's morning serene gold? And the options are, the first one is the sky. Second one is the golden yellow light of the sun in the morning. Option C is little clouds. Option D is the rainbow. Then option B is correct. The golden yellow light of the sun in the morning. Oh, well done, Bini. Now we will move towards answer the following questions. The first one is, how does the poet know that spring has arrived? Mom, the poet knows that the spring has arrived by seeing happiness and cheerfulness of the world. Well done, Dad. The next one is, what do the beautiful flowers do in the spring season? Uh, the beautiful flowers peep out from everyone's window sills. Correct. The third one is, for Uniki, what happens to the grass on the arrival of the spring season? Well, the grass starts getting soft and green on the arrival of the spring season. Well done, Nikki. The last one is for you, Tiki. How do the tall bushes announce the arrival of the spring season? Mm. On the arrival of the spring season, tall bushes have started growing again and become young and straight. Good job, children. Well done. Children, we have done revision of chapter 5, Jack and the Beanstalk and the first poem, The Coming of Spring. Now, I will give revision test tomorrow of both the chapters. So, prepare both the chapters for revision test. Thank you so much, children. Have a great day.